Well, thank you so much, guys, for letting me come and present to you today. I'm really excited to tell you a little bit about my business and also kind of where we want to take this business. So as Brad said, I'm Christy Lowe. I'm the owner and CEO of Christy Lowe Productions. And you all have probably heard the phrase, the gift that keeps on giving. Well, we like to think that we're your marketing that keeps on giving back to your business. Okay, so we do that with video marketing. We produce professional videos for you to use online. And the goal with these videos, of course, is to help you put more cash in your pocket, right? So we're gonna improve your brand awareness. We're gonna make your business stand out from the competition with effective videos. We're gonna push those customers that are seeking your products and services online through that sales funnel you guys are business owners, you know about the sales funnel. So our goal is to make sure that we're producing video content to get those clients through that sales funnel so that at the end, at the bottom, when they're ready to make a decision, these videos are going to help you seal the deal and put more cash in your pocket. And that's really what we're all about at Christy Lowe Productions. Why I'm here today is I'm looking for a couple of things and help from you guys. Um, number one, we're looking to expand our business and become the number one place in Cumberland County where businesses come for video production and video marketing. There are a couple of other um, agencies in town that do videos, but we feel like we have a competitive edge over them. We just need your help spreading the word and getting those connections to help us do that. We also would like to expand into the Raleigh and Wilmington markets, possibly Charlotte as well. So uh, we'll be asking you for help with those kind of connections. And also, I um, want some help, possibly some partners, looking for some financial support and maybe a partner for a new um, division of our company that we're starting up that I'm gonna tell you about here in a second. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. So we do, currently at Christy Lowe Productions, we do a variety of types of videos for all sorts of businesses. We do everything from customer testimonials, to brand story videos for the homepage of your website that really kind of tell the story behind your business, make people connect with you. Um, we do training videos. We do um, educational videos for frequently asked questions. A lot of our clients like to talk about, um, address issues that affect their, you know, the customers are always asking them the same questions over and over again. So they'll do videos to address those topics. We'll push those out on social and that actually saves them time and money because they can refer their customers back to those videos and it cuts down on the amount of times that they have to answer those same questions over and over again. So we're doing a little bit of everything right now, including even TV commercials. Um, but moving, uh, actually, let me show you just a quick little sample of, so you can get an idea of some of the stuff that we've got, if I can figure out how to work with this technology. This will just show you a little bit of quality of work that we're putting out there. Just a little demo reel to give you kind of an idea of what some of our work looks like and you saw some of our customers on there. My goal for Christy Lowe Productions moving forward is going to be to grow this business into a $500,000 business in the next couple of years. Um, we've got some work to do to get there, but I think it's doable because everybody should be utilizing video marketing if they want to expand their business. You know, we're going into a digital world, we're already in it, and videos are becoming more and more important to marketing your business. So I think that's a, a reasonable goal, 500,000 in the next couple of years, and we're gonna be targeting larger companies. Um, we'll still service the small businesses and the startups, but we really want to pursue larger companies that have a sizable marketing budget, okay? So that they would be repeat clients for us that may sign on to do monthly videos every month. So they're constantly putting out fresh content um, for their business. And so to do that, we wanna go after several key market sectors. 
So with Brad's help, these are kind of the sectors that we've decided would be ideal clients to help push Christie Lowe Productions forward. And so you see in the medical category, that would be everything from doctors and dentists to fitness clubs, gyms, even folks that sell health and nutrition, health and wellness products. Um, you've got the military channels there. We are a licensed military contractor, and we do um, actually have a couple of working government contracts. We're going to Honduras in a couple of weeks to film a documentary on stopping the poaching of the Scarlet Macaws um, in Honduras. It's a, a problem there, the, the bright parrots, the red, red and blue ones, big ones. So we do have some government contracts. We'd like to get more of those federal, state, and county, and even city contracts. Uh, real estate, we do things for residential real estate. You saw some of the drone footage that we've done, but we really want to pursue more the commercial end of things and land because obviously folks that are selling million dollar commercial mm -hmm. properties have a marketing budget. Um, and a lot of those same companies have properties in other states and in other regions. It'd be great to pick up some contracts where we're doing all of their properties for them. And we'll, we're willing to travel and do that. Uh, crowdfunding, this is Brad's idea. Crowdfunding, you know, folks that are trying to, they're a startup, they're trying to raise money online through crowdfunding sites, What's what do they need? What, what do they always have to have? A really good video, right? Telling their story. If you want people to contribute, you got to give them a good reason why. So if we can hook up with some of those folks and do the, their videos for them, that would be great. And then, of course, training and motivation, the manufacturing sector, um, safety, job performance, recruiting videos, some of that stuff you saw in that reel were, were recruiting videos for Methodist University. So those are some of the um, types of things that we would like to pursue moving forward. And then this is my new venture that I'm really excited to tell you guys about, Fable Foodie. Um, it is going to be basically the Yelp of Fable, but better. We want to provide a valuable service to this community that's going to grow our food culture, our foodie culture here, bring in more tourism to the area, to spend money on our restaurants, our food trucks, our bakeries, let people know where they can find these things, including fresh local, like our growers, our people that are, have honeybees, honey farms, um, you know, that make jams and jellies, all those kind of great things, because Fayetteville has a really good food scene here, and it's under publicized and there is a lot of people that still don't know about all the great things that are happening in this community as it regards as it pertains to food i've lived here 13 years i'm still discovering restaurants i've never heard of little mom and pop shops that are you know mm -hmm. off the beaten path that have amazing food and so we want to help spread the word about this we want this site to be user friendly um, and so we're kind of with this targeting users because we want them to use us. I see us eventually having an app for that, <laughs> you know, so they can, wherever they're at, they can click on it and find out where things are at. Um, and I came up with this idea because I always wanted to own a restaurant. That's kind of like one of my bucket list items was I thought it'd be fun to own a restaurant, but I know nothing about restaurant ownership and man management. I know a lot about doing videos. So I kind of just was mulling this over in my mind. For the last couple of years, I've been playing with this idea, and I thought, well, why not do videos to help the foodie community? And I can kind of merge those two passions, and no one else is really doing it. Now, the City View magazine has a dining guide they're coming out with that's really, really nice. Um, but this is going to be a little bit beyond that because it's going to be more um, user-friendly and have a few more functionalities on it than what you would get just from reading a magazine. So I want to show you a page example of once our website is up, kind of what it's going to look like. We're still developing the website. I'm hoping to launch the actual website by the end of this month. We're live on social right now, at Faye Foodie. So if you're on Instagram, Facebook, if you'll just do at Faye, F-A-Y, Foodie, you can follow us on there. But this is a, a page for one of our uh, companies that we're going to feature. And so when you click on their page, you will have a video uh, you'll have a photo shoot and you'll have a magazine article style write-up as well as all the clickable links that, that will help that restaurant. Ooh, and I'm touching. You told me not to touch and I sure did, didn't I? Mm -hmm. um, the clickable links that restaurants are going to want for that search engine optimization and for it to be useful to them. There will also be obviously our blog, which we're already publishing on social. You can read some of our blog content. We have professional foodies, all right, food bloggers 
helping us with this, um, doing some of these blogs for us. We just picked up one of the ladies at Sustainable Sandhills. I don't know if you guys know Maria. She's going to be writing for us, and so we're really excited about that. We also have a 12-year-old food blogger who's writing about desserts for us. His name's Huck, super cute. And then we're going to have um, a place where our users can also put in reviews, like you would on Yelp, except we're going to curate those reviews because we want them to be appropriate and helpful and not just bashing our local restaurants. So we feel like if someone's had a negative experience, they should go back a second time and give that restaurant a second chance and then be honest with their review. But, you know, we're going to we're gonna curate those reviews so you don't kind of have the Yelp situation where um, it's just a free-for-all. That's not what, that's not the goal. We want to help grow the food community here, not, not tear it down. So that gives you a little idea of the functionality there. Um, try and see what else we're going to have as we grow a search bar. So you can search by food type, food category, you know, if it's Hispanic food you're looking for, vegan offerings, desserts, etc. And that will populate a map. And so on that map, you can you can tell it allow allow it to see your location like you would with Yelp or anything else, and it'll populate all those restaurants that you search for for that food type on the map. And then if it's a place that Fayetteville Foodie has been to, it'll have our icon there, our pin, pinpoint, distinguishing those businesses who have invested in us and have paid to be on the site from all the others. So you'll still see all the others, it's a free service, but those businesses that want to be featured will have the Fable Foodie pin. So you can, you can then click on that and see our reviews, see our blog, etc. We don't charge for the reviews, we don't charge for the blog, but that's the free service we're providing, the directory is free. But to be featured above the fold, we do have to charge a small fee, I have to cover my operating costs. Um, it's, that's all we're charging, actually charging less than the magazines charge and you're getting videos, photos, and a write-up. So that's kind of the where we're at right now with Fable Foodie. And this is just a, if it'll play, a little, a little quick video you do, maybe Garlic Bistro, just to kind of give you an idea of the kind of video for us to use. Um, it could be an interview with the chef, it could be their signature dish, start to finish. Um, this is just kind of an overview to showing some of the tastes and flavors and the atmosphere of the baby or on bistro, but really um, for these things that you work in a warm with the restaurant, you know it's your business. You know what your selling points are. So um, if you've got a sous chef there that's world renowned and you want to speak a while about your sous chef, that's what your video will be. Um, and then of course there's the photo shoot that we go along with it and the write up. So there's a variety of ways that, that we can spread the word about your business. So, doesn't that make you want to go have one of those? <laughs> That's the goal, right? Just some quick statistics, because everybody loves statistics, don't they? But I feel like this is going to be a really popular thing. If you think about it, how many people watch videos on YouTube that are about food? 50% that says. I think that's a low number. I know on Facebook, all I see on my feed are food recipes, right? Food being made and everybody's sharing them. Everyone's posting pictures of what they're eating for dinner. So I feel like that this is going to be, I think that number is a little skewed. 97% um, of consumers read online reviews and 85% of consumers trust their online reviews. So it, it, it's something that I feel like is going to really boost uh, the foodie scene here in Fayetteville. And I'm excited about it. And I hope that you guys, if you know any restaurant owners that could use a little boost getting more people in their door, uh, really who couldn't? I hope that you would send them to fablefoodie.com. Of course, follow us on social. Um, we're also looking for sponsors. You don't have to be a restaurant to sponsor Fable Foodie. Uh, we're growing. We've only been on social for about four weeks, and we've almost got 1,000 followers already. So I don't see why we can't get up to 5,000 pretty quick and even 10,000 with a little bit of marketing help. And so we're looking for sponsors um, and restaurants. And I guess that's pretty much it. You guys have any questions about Fable Foodie or Christy Lowe Productions in general? No? Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I do see Fable Foodie expanding, too. I don't see why we can't have a Raleigh Foodie, a Charlotte Foodie, a Wilmington Foodie, because it's just one of those things. Are you more things. focused on the foodie now or on your production period? Your the foodie is a, a, a one of my channel strategies. Okay. So this is a, a separate branch of Christy Lowe Productions. So it's really I, a separate business? 
Oh, yes. Okay. I, I, I do believe that Fayetteville Foodie will become a separate business. Okay. But, right, but you know how it is when you're a startup. To be able to separate Fayetteville Foodie and hire a whole new staff and all of that is going to take some funding and some backing. So okay. that's my goal is to separate the two eventually. But right now we're kind of, okay. we're handling both. So, yes. Christy, what about the Convention and Visitors Bureau? Are you going to partner with them somehow? I am looking into that that avenue. Um, I've talked to Jenny Bell over at the CDB, and she's helping push us on social. Um, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm trying to trademark, um, get a trademark for the name because I do see this expanding into other markets. And Fayetteville Foodie probably won't be the, the finished name because you can't trademark that, I'm being told. So <laughs> I haven't, I've been kind of careful as to who I've approached for help only because it would be real easy almost for someone that has the funding to take the same idea and run with it before I get it trademarked. So to answer your question, yes, I hope to work with the CBB, but I haven't gone there yet. Yeah. I love your market strategy. Thank you. You're absolutely correct in terms of who has funding and who has interest and who understands the value. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I've been following the Facebook very, very, very uh, intensely. Thank you. So say, this speaks to my interests. But I also just want to say, and, and it's a question, it's also kind of a comment. Um, we had with the Downtown uh, Restaurants Association way back a couple years ago, really looked at other downtowns that were doing culture videos. So mm -hmm. it wasn't about a specific product or a specific restaurant, but it was really about the feeling of the community. Mm -hmm. um, and that is where I do see Arts Council or um, Visitors and Convention Bureau or you know, potentially even the downtown merchants or Bruce Prince district needing to, to step up to the plate mm -hmm. um, and have these products that are not necessarily about one particular business right. or one particular funding stream. Do you see any evolution of that happening or is this still very silent? Mm -hmm. I agree with you and I, I've actually met with the folks at the Arts Council. I've also been working with SEED and of course with Brad. Mm -hmm. Because we, we all agree that the there hasn't been a lot done to promote culinary arts and the culinary scene in Fayetteville <laughs> and that more needs to be done. So we've, we've had those discussions. I've even said, you know, is there funding out there that we could use to promote um, kind of the overall food culture here? And there isn't. Um, but that's something that they, they all say they're interested in doing. So I do think we need to, that's kind of, why everyone that I've talked to so far has been excited about Fable Foodie because that's kind of the end goal is to bring more attention to all of the the things that we have going on here as it pertains to food and drink um, in our community the food trucks and all these great things that we're doing that but there's no like one cohesive place where you can find out about all of these things and a, a resource for folks to use that then you could use to bring in more tourism so we Yes, we've talked about it, but I don't know how easily that's going to come about, if that answers your question. It does. And quick follow-up, if you haven't yet received an invitation, we would love to see you this Sunday at the new Farmer's Market at Dirt Bag Hales. Um, we will be pursuing some EPA funding to so Farmer's Market startups. What is your name? Anna Aaron Wright. Same name. Uh -huh. <laughs> I talked to Maria yesterday. She actually gave me some content to push out on Bay Foodie about the strawberry and the farmer's market thing at Dirtbag. So we plan to be there. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, have you tried to like market to any of the, like, the family members on Brian? Because I knew you. Well, I, yeah. And I, the only big things I know is like the big name, like Texas Roadhouse. And all right. That. And I like that the home, like, you know, the home feel of a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I'm from a small town and that's right. all we have. Mm -hmm. So have you tried to like, do anything with like, the military that like, come from everywhere? That is a goal of mine. I, if anybody has an in with some of the folks on Fort Bragg that could help me promote this, yes. Because we are a transient community, and I, I agree with you. And, and I've even been here, like I said, 13 years. And some of these mom-and-pop restaurants, I'm still discovering. And I think this would be a really useful tool for the military community because you're right. And that's what people keep saying is they all know about the chains. We all know where Cross Creek Mall is and the chain restaurants that are right there by the mall. Most of us know about downtown and what's downtown, but not fully what all is downtown. 
but there's a lot more out there than that that people don't know about. So that is a good point, and I hope to be able to work with the military on promoting this and doing more about that. I know a couple of the owner of restaurant. How much do you charge generally for creating a video like the one that you showed? So here? that's a good question. Our prices right now, you can get in for as little as two hundred and fifty dollars for a basic <coughs> ad. The ad that I showed you for Baby Garlic Bistro is a $500 ad, and that includes the video, the magazine write-up, and the photo shoot. And then you can choose to, the package above that is a $1,000 ad. That makes you our featured restaurant of the month. So you would be above the fold on the website for a whole month, and we wouldn't change that out. The other restaurants will be rotated off the first page as we get new content, but the content will always be there. So we would charge an annual hosting fee of $175 just to help us with our website maintenance because as we grow and we're adding all this content, it's going to be more expensive to maintain and have more bandwidth for the website. So, but as long as the restaurants are paying that $175 a year, all of their content that we've done will stay on, the, will stay on our site forever. <coughs> and you can refresh as often as you want. So if a restaurant wanted to do a new video every quarter or two or three a year, we could do that. Thank you. Yeah. We're getting the hook. Yes, I'm, I'm out. Question. What yes. can this community do to help you? I need people to spread the word about Fayetteville Foodie. I am looking for potential investors and sponsors so that we can make all of the features on the website active sooner rather than later. It's really challenging to get the restaurants in this community to see the value in this or buy into this because we're so new. And they've been hit up by every marketing agency out there, right? Newspapers, magazines, radio stations. They all want restaurants to spend money. So it's really hard, I have found so far, to get restaurants to understand that this is going to grow and it's just going to become huge. And what they're spending for an ad, $500, is far less than what you'd pay to be in the newspaper for a quarter page ad. And it's going to be there forever, <coughs> potentially, as long as you help us with the hosting fee. So... I need help. I need help spreading the word. I need help with investors, sponsors. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's great, Christian. Thank you. <laughs>